The next one in your list is the dry, arid and semi-arid. So the dry type of climate is separate because you can have is based only in precipitation, not based on temperature as well. So let's learn a little bit about the dry, arid and semi-arid type of climate. It's their group B and have less precipitation than evaporation. Dry climate zones cover about 26% of the old land area, so it's the largest type of climate cover our planet. What climate characteristics this dry climate group to have? Well, temperature, abundant sunshine, summer temperature as high, winter a cooler and longer than tropical moist climates. The rainfall is very irregular, several years of drought and oven followed by a single year of abundant rainfall. When you have, that's the distribution if you have the dry, arid and semi-arid type of climates. So what characteristics you have? So the first one is the tropical, subtropical, hot desert climate. The tropical desert is an environment of extreme, is the driest and hottest place on Earth. Rainfall is sporadic and some years not measurable precipitation falls at all. The terrible dry condition of the deserts is due to the year-round influence of subtropical high pressure and continentality. So as you can see, the deserts in this area are typically found in continental interiors of the subtropical and the least side of the mountains in the mid latitudes. Cool coastal deserts are found where the cold water upwells along a coast, stabilizes the air and preventing moisture formation, like the near coast of Chile. Vast deserts cover much of North Africa, the Sahara, Saudi Arabia, to Iran, Pakistan, and Western India. Tropical deserts are found in Baja California and interior Mexico and North America. So what controls, what factors control? The most important controlling factor of the climate characteristic of the tropical desert is the year-round presence of the subtropical high pressure. The descending air of the subtropical high pressure creates a diabetic warms the air to dry out to inhibit condensation. Aridity also rises as the distance from moisture sources increases. Leeward situation places one in the rain shadow which also promotes dry conditions. Cool coastal deserts are found along the coastal where the cold air water is upwelling. In terms of the temperature, the tropical desert has the highest mean annual temperature of any climate on Earth. The high temperatures are a result of high sun angle through the year and having the highest percentage of sunshine of any climate. No month has an average temperature below 18 degrees Celsius, 64 degrees Fahrenheit, and many places have consecutive average monthly temperature in the mid 30 degrees Celsius, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. However, daytime temperature can reach 50 degrees Celsius, we'll talk about 120 degrees Fahrenheit, at low elevation inland des deserts. In terms of the precipitation, uh, precipitation in the tropical deserts is very irregular and unreliable. Low latitude deserts average less than 25 inches, 10 5 centimeters, 10 inches in a year, and the entire year's worth of the rain may fall in one downpour. The continental location of many tropical deserts places them far from a source of moisture, the ocean. Combine continentality of the strong subsidence of the subtropical height and you have one of the driest places on Earth. Air subsidizing from the subtropical high is adiabatically warmer, which reduces the relative humidity of the air, so the relative humidity can drop to 10% of less. The extreme low relative humidity causes evaporation, what little surface water there is. The subsident air also promotes atmospheric stability, further inhibiting precipitation. The next one is semi-arid or steppe, or tropical, subtropical, hot steppe climate. So, 
In open field of short vegetation, high-latitude semi-arid deserts, also called steppe, are found in continental interiors or in rain shadows. Semi-arid deserts receive between 20 to 4 inches or 8 to 16 inches of rain annually. The annual temperature range is large. In the United States, the Grand Plains portion of the Southern California coast and the Great Basin are semi-arid deserts. And also the mid-latitude uh, steppes, or the tropical steppes, surround the tropical desert. So it's kind of transition buffer between extremely dry to more precipitation. So the next one is mid-latitude cold desert type of climate. So it shares many of the same climatic characteristics of the tropical desert and for many of the same reasons. While the tropical desert climates are considered hot desert, Falikopian classification, mid-latitude deserts are cold deserts. The mid-latitude desert is found in Inner Asia with great expanses in northern Gob Desert and northwestern China, Taklamakan Desert. Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, the interior western of the United States, southern Utah, Nevada, Arizona, New Mex Mexico has a mid-latitude desert climate. This type of climate, desert climate, is controlled by the same factor as the tropical desert climate, the influences of high pressure, interior position, and rain shadow location. The Taklamaklan Desert exhibits this influence while it lies under the pressure range by mountains, preventing even the most mega amount of moisture to penetrate into the interior location. Like its tropical equivalent, the mid-latitude desert enjoys a high percentage of sunshine through the year. Dominant high pressure and lack of moisture combine to inhibit the production of clouds. The mid-latitude desert similar experiences large daily temperature range due to the cloudless day and nights. However, the mid-latitude desert experiences a large annual temperature than the tropical deserts. So the middle latitude desert is considered an arid climate in which the total annual precipitation is less than half of annual potential evapotranspiration. Precipitation is sparse as the interior location is distant from the source of the moisture, as you can see in this data from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Or the lack of rainfall is due to this leeward rain shadow location. Like the tropical desert, precipitation is irregular and unreliable. Relative humidity is quite low when the region is dominated by these continental tropical air masses during the summer, like happened in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The next one is mid-latitude cold steppe. So, this mid-latitude steppe climate shares many of the same characteristics of the tropical steppe has. Both are semi-arid climates that are affected by the interior continental or leeward orographic position. However, the mid-latitude steppe experiences large temperature ranges and receives more total rainfall than the tropical steppe climate. So, another interesting characteristic is the mid-latitude latitude cold step, very similar as the tropical cold uh, step, surround the more, most dry one. So it's like, again, a step pretty much is a transition zone or buffer between extreme dry and less dry. So the mid-latitude steps are found in the periphery of mid-latitude deserts and leeward side of the mountain system in Inner Asia, South America, and the Western United States. Much of the Great Plain of the United States lies in the mid-latitude steppe climate. Broad expanses of the steppe's climate run to Mongolia and Kazakhstan. So the controlling factors over the geographical distribution and climate characteristic of the mid-latitude steppe are similar to the mid-latitude desert. The climate is found in the interior of the vast mid-latitude continents in the northern hemisphere, far removed from source of moisture. Mid-latitude steppe climate is located in the rain shadow of tall mountain chains, like the Rocks and the Andes Mountains in North and South America, respectively. These mountain systems act as a barrier to the westerly flow of moist air. 
Temperature in the mid-latitude steppe climate varies considerably with latitude, elevation and continentality. So temperature ranges from negative 40, 40 degrees Celsius in winter to above 40 degrees Celsius in summer. Due to their continental position, the steppe climates in the north, Great Plains and Siberia generally experience the lowest temperature for this climate. As one might expect, temperature increases as one travels towards the toward merging of the climate. Cooler temperatures also prevail as one moves towards the high elevation. With annual precipitation greater than half of the annual potential evapotranspiration, the mid-latitude steppe is considered a semi-arid climate, so the precipitation ranges from 100 to over 300 mm in a year. There are a few generalities that can be made about the precipitation regimes of climate. The seasonality of uh, precipitation is similar to near a humid climate. Generally speaking, the steppe climate bored of the humid continental climate is like to have a summer maximum while bordering the humid subtropics a winter maximum may occur. Those steppes climates located closer to the coast may not have a significant variability in their precipitation. Thank you.